Welcome back to Third Eye Weekly. It's launch week today on Breakthrough Radio. Going for the rest of the week, we got our new site up and running. Oh, yeah. And our new app. It's really exciting. If you haven't already, go check it out. It looks fantastic. It's been a little while in the making, and it's finally arrived. Yeah, go download the app for sure. The app is great. And on the site this week, we're going to have some really great content, some great interviews, one of them being a very special guest that we had on our broadcast and that I wrote an article about this week, a two-part article called Clowns Without Borders. Lisa, tell us a little bit about this guest. Yes, we're going to have Molly Levine, who is the director of the USA um, District of clowns without borders so it's the usa base of clowns without borders and what she does and her team of clowns is that they go to different spots throughout the world where their need uh, there's a need for laughter and happiness and mainly they go to refugee camps they go to uh, war stricken areas where people haven't smiled for months you know years Yeah, people have forgotten what laughter even feels like in a lot of these places which we're seeing more and more so with all the syrian refugees that are scattered exactly. around greece and turkey yeah so she's been to greece um she's been to turkey she's been to all different areas in the world where there's these um, war-stricken people who are just traveling. And what's really interesting is that they only go where a request is made. So when there's a request in a certain area that they need laughter, they need some joy back in their lives, they go to those destinations. Right. But it's interesting because I I believe that perhaps they could um, maybe really do some more research and go out there and find those areas where some voices aren't heard. You know, some people don't even have the access to reach out to them and say, hey, please come over to this area to bring some more joy. Here. Right, so so you're saying there are places in the world that could really use the support of these clowns. Yeah. They could really use the laughter and the joy, but because the organization operates on a request only basis, mm-hmm. there's no likelihood that they would ever be able to fund a mission to one of those places. Yeah. I total I see where you're coming from, but at the same time, while we talked with Levine, she told us a lot about how the organization is very adamant about not being politically affiliated and not mm-hmm. going somewhere unless they know that their help is wanted. Because mm-hmm. if they were to have an agenda and say, I want to go to Sudan, right? Mm -hmm. And there was no one in Sudan who had invited them to come, they could show up and that could almost signify a sort of aggressiveness. Even though it's completely benevolent and peaceful, their very arrival on their own terms signifies that they want some sort of change independent of the people themselves looking for the change. Even though realistically those people do need laughter. Mm -hmm. So, and and another factor I think that comes into consideration is the safety of both the actors and the the people. You know, uh, Levine made a point of saying, we're not gonna send anyone anywhere unless we know for sure that their safety is guaranteed. And I'm not sure how guaranteed their safety would be if they were going to a place where they didn't already have an in or an okay and know that there was going to be some sort of, um, you know, facilitation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I definitely honor what they do and, and they do remarkable work no matter what. Um, I guess it, it just, you worry about the people who don't have a voice at all and don't have access to even outreaching to the USA or any other area or any other organization to get help. But no matter what, they, they do a remarkable job. They do. And what's incredible is that the organization has grown tremendously in the past couple of decades alone. Yeah. Uh, it started off as a very small thing that started in Spain during the Spanish Revolution and it's international it happens in a lot of different countries around the world so i'm hoping that these kinds of grassroots efforts will maybe spur people with a lesser voice to develop their own kinds of organizations and and take take root in that yeah for sure well be sure to check out our episode you can hear the full interview which is a really long one really in-depth one um but that's all we have for for now yeah check out the article ran monday and tuesday of this week and thanks for tuning into third eye weekly i'm your host zach I'm your host, Lisa. Until next time.